Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations, and today we're going to be making this love card. Um, now, I turned mine into a Valentine's Day card because Valentine's Day is coming up and I needed a Valentine's Day card for my hubby. Um, so that way I wouldn't have to make one when it came close to it, so this way I already have it made. But I'm not going to make another Valentine's Day card because I don't need two Valentine's Day cards because I only have one Valentine, obviously. So um, I'm going to turn it into a wedding card instead. But we're going to do the exact same thing, just change up the inside stamp. So I am starting with a three and three quarters by five piece of fresh no linen cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I'm going to use the brush off stamp set to create the background. We're using this stamp set, but for which I ain't going to use this stamp right here. And I'm just going to do like a pink ombre effect here. So I'm going to start off with their new color, Lovely Lady. This color is really pretty. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. just kind of trying to line it up at the top here. I'm going off a little bit. Okay, and then over here, off to the side, I just have my scrubby mat, so I'm just scrubbing that clean. I'm going to move on to the next color. We're going to do hibiscus burst. I really like these paper tray ink, tree drop ink pads, but the bottoms always fall off. Not always, but I have a couple where the bottoms fall off. Because I dropped them and uh, yeah. And I did get a little smudge up there, so I'm gonna just, you know, wipe it off this time. So I don't have that. Just lining it up underneath the one above it. Okay, and again, I'm gonna use my scrubby over here to clean it off. And then we'll move on to the next color, which is gonna be Raspberry Fizz. love the way that this stamp looks. It's so pretty. And then we're going to use the Raspberry Fizz to stamp there. Again, scrubbing it off with my scrubby. And I'm going to use Autumn Rose. Sorry if you can hear the washer in the background. It is the day before I go back to school um, after winter break, and so I'm trying to get some laundry done. The last color we're going to use is Scarlet Jewel. I just really like this nice gradient effect here that we have going. Wipe that off so I don't get a little mark. And this one's going to go off at the bottom a little bit, and that's okay. Okay. So there is the background piece done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do these little inlaid hearts here. So I've already cut out three hearts from Lovely Lady... Autumn Rose and Scarlet Jewel. So I've already cut those three out. So what we need to do is cut out the background and we're going to do um, the inlay die cutting. So I'm going to take a heart die. So this is the XOXO stamp from Paper Tray Ink and here's the coordinating die. We're going to take this heart right here. And I'm going to try and line it up in the middle. I'm just going to place these hearts around it just to make sure that it's going to fit. Just make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. And I think that's going to look pretty good. 
And I do have my magnetic platform on, so I'm not going to worry about taping it down. Put my plate on. It did move just a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm going to run it through. So there's the one. And I'm going to save the little inside piece because I'm going to stick that back in. So we're just going to put that to the side. And I can save this as well and I can use it on a different card. I'm going to put this heart over here. Move it down a little bit, I think. Okay, we'll put the plate back on and run it through. laundry machine is the washing machine is really going right now okay again I'm gonna save the inside heart and then put the other one aside I can use it on another card maybe and then lastly we're gonna do this one I'm trying to work out where I want this one I think right there And we're just going to run that through. And we're done with the big shot. So I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. Remember, I'm going to save that inside heart. I'll just move the big shot out of the way. And zoom it back in. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back in. Now I have all three of my little hearts here. And all three of my bigger hearts. And those are going to fit back together like a puzzle. So I'm going to add them onto my background piece. Well, actually, before I do that, I forgot. I have some ribbon. And I don't rem remember where I got this from. I think I got it from... Um, we used to have a scrapbooking store here. And I don't remember the name of it. And now it's gone. But this is the ribbon that I'm using. Um, it's American Crafts Premium Ribbon in um, black. This is really thin ribbon. Now, I have I have like paper tray ink true black ribbon, but it was kind of big for what I wanted. I wanted a small um, a small ribbon. So I decided to go ahead and use this one that was in my stash. So I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom. And we're just going to tie a bow. I don't normally have trouble with bows, you guys, but because this ribbon was so small, I actually did have trouble with it when I tied it the first time. I had to undo it like three times. But it seems that this one is coming out just fine. Twist the ribbon here a little bit, and voila. Get it to the size that we like. Now what I'm doing is I'm just twisting these ends so that my ribbon is facing the way that I want it. So if you have wonky bows, you just need to kind of twist the ends of the ribbons and it'll go the way that you want it to go. Now again, like you guys have heard me say before, I like little bows, so I'm making it pretty small. I'm using my fingers to, to pull it instead of just pulling them. So I'm sticking my fingers in it in the little loops and pulling so that it doesn't um, misshape the bow. And one more little tug and there we go. I think that's good. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess. Okay, now we can go ahead and add it to our true black cardstock mat. So this is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to use my tape runner. I'm 
I'm going to go above the hearts and kind of in between the hearts. So this is four by five and a quarter. Now this is where we're just going to kind of fit the pieces back there like a puzzle. Now I went from lightest, I'm sorry, darkest to lightest with my pieces. So here's the Scarlet Jewel, Sweet Blush, Lovely Lady, and then these are going to go back in where they were cut out. So I'm just going to use my two-way glue pen. Oops, sorry, I whacked the tripod there. And I'm going to fill in glue all the way around and all the way inside. I'm going to stick the pieces back in. And they'll just pop back in there like the little puzzle that they are. So there's the first one. Now I played around with this card for a bit. I thought I was going to pop these hearts up and then um, use the little inside pieces and like the different hearts um, and mix and match them. But then, and then I thought maybe I'd try putting the love as the inlay die cut because I've never done. I don't think I've ever really done inlay die cut before. And I wanted to try it, but then I decided that I wanted the love to be popped up. And then the hearts should go in. So I kind of changed my mind a little bit as I was doing this card. So next thing here, I have this word love that has been cut out four times from True Black Ink. It is from the XOXO die as well. So right here, the love. Four times from True Black. I cut it out, glued it all together, and we're just going to use the two-way glue pen to glue it on as well. Okay, and I have also cut out somewhere on my table three little black hearts. These are also from the XOXO. I use this little heart right here. And I'm just going to kind of position them at the top here. I struggled on placement for these for a while too. Oops, until I finally decided where I wanted them to go. about right there is what I'm liking. So I'm just going to use my two-way glue pen to glue these down as well. I would use my tweezers but I can't seem to find them on my desk and I don't know where they are so I'm going to have to look around for them. So you guys I am definitely not ready to go back to school I've been highly enjoying sleeping in and spending my day crafting and watching crafting videos. It's been very enjoyable, <laughs> I can say. Um, so now I have the card base, which is the Lovely Lady card base. It's um, 11 by 4 and a quarter, so I took 5 and a half, cut it at 4 and a quarter, scored it in half, so it's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And I'm just going to take my bone folder. And then I'm going to tear this down. Okay, and then we're going to work on the inside piece. So again, like I said, I made mine a Valentine's Day card. And this is what mine says. So I use the Paper Tray Ink. Um, sending my love stamp set. I use this of all the moments in my life. The one spent with you are my favorite. And then I used the um, Be My Valentine stamp set which was brand new from Paper Tray Ink in December. And I used the Happy Valentine's Day. And then I also used the um, one of these open hearts here from the XOXO collection. But this time I am using the tucked in wedding so I'm doing warmest wishes on your wedding day celebrating with you as you start your new life together as husband and wife 
and I've decided to stamp that in Scarlet Jewel. And then I am going to take that same heart from the XO, XO collection and I'm going to stamp that with Lovely Lady. And I'm just going to stamp it right over here. So now that can go on the inside of our card. And we have one more finishing touch that we're going to do and then this card's going to be done. And I'll have a nice new wedding card for somebody. We're going to use the Wink of Stella, the clear. And we're going to do it on all three of these hearts up here. And then we're going to go around this word love here. I just love the way the Wink of Stella looks, you guys. And Stampin' Up! has decided to include it in their occasions catalog, which is kind of cool. A little bit behind, but nonetheless, they have it now. And the very last step is to go over that with glossy accents. And that'll capture the shine in there as, also, as well as... Um, so it'll be sparkly and shiny all at the same time. And then we'll go over this love die cut as well. So normally I am doing things at the last minute, like making birthday cards for people, or I don't make a birthday card, I just use what's in my stash instead of making a personalized one for people, because it always comes down to where I just didn't feel like doing it and so then I'm running around trying to figure out what to do. So this time I actually have my husband's Valentine's Day card made in advance so I feel a little proud of myself and I got to use some of my new paper tray ink goodies which is always a plus. So there is our finished card. Let me bring back in the original one so you can see the sparkle in those die cuts. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspires you to start your Valentine's Day cards. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!